The EU-funded project Leveraging ASEAN Capacities for Emergency Response, also known as the LASER project, aims to strengthen the resilience in the ASEAN region through improved disaster risk management. This include strengthened capacity and sustainability of the AHA Centre to achieve operational excellence in disaster monitoring, preparedness and emergency response, as well as enhanced mechanism for ASEAN leadership to respond as one through excellence and innovation in disaster management. In looking at the greatest impact from the LACER project, I would say that first we have succeeded in bringing together the EU and ASEAN. We now have many opportunities for mutual exchange between disaster professionals working in these two regions. We see this as sustainable and continuing beyond the lifespan of the project. Secondly, LACER has been able to closely align with ASEAN on the promotion of protection, gender and inclusion, so-called PGI, in humanitarian response. ASEAN launched a policy framework on PGI in October of last year and since then, the LACER project has developed multiple activities to strengthen the PGI framework, which is also in line with our own project objectives to promote gender equality and inclusiveness in disaster management. Further, our project has had a solid impact on the policies, operational routines and emergency procedures of the AHA Centre. LASER has delivered several innovations in these areas, including gender mainstreaming the organization's HR policies, developing a model for regular exercises of the emergency response capacity within AHA Centre, and making recommendations on streamlining the disaster monitoring and analysis functions of AHA's Emergency Operations Center. In the area of protection, gender and inclusion, the project has certainly helped ASEAN in achieving its objectives. LASER's Gender Advisor has supported the AHA Center in facilitating and co-leading an ASEAN Exchange Forum on the collection and the use of this aggregated data in disaster response. This generated awareness on existing regional commitments relevant to data disaggregation, as well as facilitating the exchange of challenges and best practices for collecting, analyzing, and utilizing this aggregated data by sex, age, disability, and other characteristics. Clearly, there have been some challenges with implementing the LASER project. In that regard, the greatest challenge was surely the COVID pandemic. LACER was launched in early 2020, just exactly when COVID was starting to spread globally and restrictions were being introduced rapidly to counter the rising number of infections. These restrictions, such as lockdowns and travel bans, were left in place over the coming two years, which effectively prevented LACER experts from visiting ASEAN and implementing project activities together with colleagues in Southeast Asia. All activities had to be conducted remotely during this phase, which greatly limited our effect. LASER has supported the AHA Center in the development of ASEAN exercise methodology by providing input and expert feedback on the learning methodology based on observations during ASEAN era trainings and exercises. For example, a laser expert facilitated the referee training for the large-scale ADEX 23 regional exercise and contributed to the development of the exercise review questionnaire and after-action review process. Laser experts also shared points of observation that contributed to enhancing the performance of the referees, integrating protection, gender and inclusion into the exercise as well as the current status of civil military coordination in ASEAN humanitarian responses. With regard to the collaboration between ASEAN and EU in the disaster management, there have been many positive effects felt by us. For example, LASER facilitated the initial discussion to explore a potential agreement between the AHA Center and DG ECO. This would be a long-term collaboration spanning various areas, including knowledge exchange in disaster management, exchange of experts in relevant technical capacities, developing training programs of mutual interest, 
and sharing best practices on standardization and certification processes. Another great benefit of our partnership with LASER has been learning about the European Union's best practices in disasters management and the ways that we can replicate these successes into ASEAN's own initiative where relevant. I have really enjoyed many aspects of working in the AHA Centre and being based in Jakarta. AHA Centre staff are very dedicated and it's been an honour to work closely with them on a daily basis, improving the delivery of humanitarian assistance to populations affected by disasters. I have also appreciated the multicultural environment of ASEAN where you have staff from 10 different countries bringing many cultural habits and practices from their home countries and there is also a great variety of personalities and styles of work there. In this sense, it's been a great learning experience for me as well. To learn more, visit laserproject.eu